Hi everyone. This is Brenda Beatty from Brenda Beatty's Brushstrokes. <laughs> Welcome. Today I'm going to talk about how to use Avery's online software to create greeting cards using an image of your painting. Imagine how much fun it will be to send out cards that have your own artwork on them. <laughs> your family and friends will be so thrilled to get them as well. There are two kinds of note cards you can buy from Avery and they're available through Amazon. I'll put a link at the bottom. I wanted to tell you also about my printer. It's a Brother Ink Vestment printer. There's more than one model, but they are the best. Your ink will last a long time with these. I get 1,200 copies in one cartridge, one set of cartridges. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video for the Brother Inkvest printers that you can buy on Amazon. I get a small percentage from these products if you buy them there. The commissions that I receive help me keep my YouTube channel growing and maybe one of these days I'll be able to get some better equipment. My Brother printer prints with excellent quality. And the price of the ink is even cheaper than my previous Epson printer. So I think it's the best printer I've ever got so far. Highly recommend it. Perhaps you watched my previous video, Paint Your Own Christmas Cards, Evening Snow. If so, you may have a painting like this that you'd like to turn into a card. So let's get at it. It's going to be so much fun. First, you take your your uh, painting and scan it. So I'm putting my painting. That's the card that I did in that video. And I'm going to open my Brother scanner. So I go into Brother and open the utilities. And then the control center. And all I do is press scan. I'll speed this up because it takes a few minutes. There we go. And there's the scanned painting. Now I want to save it. And I'll put it on my hard drive so that I know where it is. So I have to change the name. And then I have to change the location. Once saved, I double click on it to edit it in Microsoft Photos. I need to rotate it and then I don't want, I want just the image, so I'm going to crop it. I'll just bring the corners in quickly and get just the image saved for my card. There we go, and now I save it. And I will check the directory just to make sure, see what it looks like. And there it is. It looks good. So I'm going to now close uh, the scanner, and I'm going to open Chrome and start Avery, the Avery software. So I type Avery and in and I'm on the Canadian site since I'm in Canada. May be a little different for you. And press accounts. You will have to start an account, but don't worry, it's free. I've already registered and so instead of creating an account, I'll log in. And once in, I will start a new project. I have to let Avery know the number, the ID of the project, the paper that I'm using. So 3265 is large cards. You get one card per piece of paper. 3268 was the number for the note cards. And I get two per page. And I select the widescreen because my painting is landscape and I select a blank design. This brings me up to the editor. I'm going to put an 
oh, here I could put two different images because I'm doing two cards per page. But we'll keep it simple and do one image and we'll edit both together. So I'm inserting my image from my file, from my computer, I have to browse for it. Get to the right directory. And there it is, I'll pick it up and insert it. And it comes in a little smaller, so I'll have to enlarge it just by pulling on the corners. And then I'll have to center it. There we go. And I'm going to align it, center it on the product. Now I'm going to write something on the back of the card, so I'm going to insert a text box. And I'm going to put the name of the painting and that it's by Brenda Beatty, that's me. And I'm going to put my website on there as well. May as well advertise every chance you get. Now, when you're in this text editor, in order to change the color or the font or the size of the font, uh, your, your text must be highlighted. So I'm going to highlight the text and change the font and change the size. And I think I would like to have this text probably at the bottom of the page. So I'll drop it down there and then I'll align it with that button again horizontally. So now I have the front and back of the card and I need to do the inside. On the inside, we'll put a text box that says Merry Christmas. So go over to the text and select text box. Type in Merry Christmas and I want it to be red. Oh, got to select it. Choose red. And then I will choose a different font. I'll choose Belladonna. <laughs> that used to be called Deadly Nightshade. It was a poison in the Middle Ages. But it makes a pretty font. And I'll enlarge it. There we go. Red Merry Christmas. And I'll center it up a bit. And I see the line marking the center of the page. There we go. That's about where I want it. And note that it's at the bottom when you look at the picture on the side, on the right hand side. The text is at the bottom of the card. If it was in the wrong place, it's going to print on the wrong side of your card. I'm saving it now and I'm saving it to my Avery account. Any computer that I'm on in the future will have access to this file and I can print it again. Or I can modify it and from one card you can make a lot changing the greetings, changing the image. So it's very handy to have it saved up there. Next I'm going to preview it before I print it. Let's have a look and see. I can see the front looks good. Oh, there's the back. That looks good. We'll flip it around again. The neat thing is I can open it up and see what it's going to look like. Wow, Merry Christmas and it's in the right place. So everything's running well. I'm going to print and I'm going to select uh, print on both sides of the page and it's going to tell me that I'm going to have to Make sure both sides print. And uh, there's some instructions, printing tips here, which I will explain. But you can read those, that'd be even better. They may be different depending on your whether you're running a Mac. Uh, now here's, it created a PDF and I've opened the PDF and I can see that it printed both pages because I chose print on both, print both 
both pages. Now, there are settings that you have to watch for. So in my printer, we have the scale must be set to custom 100 and double-sided must not be checked. My printer will flip paper over inside it to print both sides of the page, but it can't flip this heavy card over properly. So I can't select double-sided. And I'm good now I have a good look at it and I'm going to press print. You have to let the uh, get the cat off the printer before you can print. That cat has to be in every video. I'm putting the print the paper in the back of my printer. It works best it to print one page at a time and feed manually from the back when you're using really thick paper. It gives me a message saying that I can only print one page at a time and not to insert more than one at the back. And it prints beautifully this way and the, the paper never gets caught up in the printer. To print on the other side of the page now, I have to feed the other side in. I turn it over and I flip it and I turn it over upside down and flip. It's a little complex, but you'll see there and that takes seconds and it says Merry Christmas. So I just fold the card twice and it just falls apart into two cards. And I fold each one in half and I've got two lovely little cards, two note cards. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have lots of good luck with this. And don't forget to subscribe and touch the bell so you'll be reminded about my next videos.